everyone. I hope you're doing well today. Today we're going to tackle a tough topic and that is fitness and exercise. I don't know about you guys, but I am guilty of getting lazy. Some days I'll just say, you know what? I'll just put it off till tomorrow. I'll work out tomorrow. I'll start that fitness routine tomorrow. I'll start doing those reps again tomorrow. And, and one day turns into another, turns into another. And here I am not feeling good about myself because I haven't taken the time to exercise or do something good for my body. Fitness and exercise is very, very important. It plays a key role in us being able to not only feel good about ourselves, but to actually help other people. I mean, we, when we feel good about ourselves, we can reach out and we can do more with other people because not only does it increase our stamina, it raises endorphins and puts us in a better mood, it boosts our self-confidence, and when we do something good for ourselves, it just makes us a better person all around. Those are the things that are very important and that's what contributes to a good, healthy fitness routine. I'm going to go through a series of 10 simple exercises. 10 simple exercises that can make a very big difference. You can pick and choose from these exercises. You can do all of them. You can do one. You can do two. Even if it's just one, though, that's all it takes because it builds. It's like a snowball effect. The more that you do something, the more you feel good about doing it. The better you get at doing it, the more you want to do it, and you can build on it. You can do more reps. You can take the exercise a step further by adding more challenges. I mean, it's just all around beneficial for your health and well-being. You'll find that a majority of these exercises can be completed by most people. Regardless of your age, regardless of your weight, you can actually take part in these exercises in one way or another. One thing to remember about doing exercises in repetition is everyone has different tolerances. If you cannot go as long as someone else, don't don't judge yourself by that, okay? Starting out small and getting through 10 is a big deal. It's a big deal because it means you've made an effort. It means you've made a start. So I'm actually only going to do 10 of each. That's it. I'm going to do 10 reps of each exercise. And I'm going to continue doing those 10 reps until I feel like I can build on it and add another 10 reps. And in the future, maybe I'll add another 10 reps. But right now, we're focusing on small beginnings, and we're going to start for 10. Please remember, as with any other fitness routine, if you have any type of physical or health conditions that would prohibit you from doing any of these exercises, you need to pick and choose wisely. If you have questions about any of the exercises, you may want to check with your physician to make sure this is something you can do if you're recovering from an injury, if you're recovering from an illness. But otherwise, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm really excited to get started. The first exercise we're taking on is lunges. I'm actually going to be starting with my right leg. We're going to do 10 on each leg. When I lunge forward, I'm being very careful not to let my knee extend beyond my toe. I'm going to try to keep all of my weight centered on the ball of my back foot. And I lunge forward, just like this. Dropping my knee, keeping my knee facing downward towards the ground. And I'm actually going to do 10 of those. One, two, three. You're going to alternate and you're going to do that 10 times on each leg. This next exercise I consider to be my number one butt buster. You're going to want to study yourself on a hard surface. You're going to pivot towards the surface that you studied yourself on. You're going to put all of your weight on the ball of your foot. You're going to take your opposite heel, line it up with the heel in front of it, turn your toes outward, pointing straight, and you're going to actually hold your hip and you're going to flex and press your heel, driving it in towards your other heel. Just like this. You'll really feel this through your glutes and through the back of your thighs. And you're going to do this 10 times. One, two, three, four. You're going to pulse. You're going to try not to let your heel slap because then you just have momentum kicking your heel out. You're going to want to do it kind of slow and controlled even if you're pulsing, just like this. And then you're going to switch and you're going to do it on the other side, 10 times on each side. For the next exercise, you're actually going to be looking at my torso. We're going to be working our abs without having to do any type of groundwork. This is going to be especially easy if you've had back injuries or perhaps you're uncomfortable when you're doing workout routines on the floor. So there's still a way to work your core and your abs without actually having to be down on the ground. What you're going to do is you're going to stand with your legs shoulder width apart, put your hands on your hips. You're going to grab that core and you're just going to really pull in those muscles. Now, when you do that, you're going to basically do a box. It's called an ab box, a, a stomach box, whatever you want to call it. I just call it the ab roll. All right, you're going to steady yourself, flex those abs, keep them tight, and you're going to do 10 times on each side. One, two. Notice that my shoulders aren't slinging around or shifting. I'm all core right now. I'm only using my core. You're going to continue and you're going to do that so that you've got 10 to one side and you've got 10 to the other. As soon as you begin doing those exercises, you'll notice right away that you'll start to feel a lot of burn in those muscles right there and that is exactly what we want to feel. Another part of the body that we all too often neglect or forget is our neck. Not only do we tend to do it when we do our skincare regimen, but it also comes in terms of exercise as well. There are several things you can do to tone and tighten your neck. I'm just going to show you the one that I find works best for toning and keeping my neck firm underneath and helping me avoid the dreaded double chin. What you're going to do is it's called kiss the sky. You're just basically going to do this. You're going to look up as high as you can and you're going to kiss the ceiling. Just like that. Now you don't necessarily have to make a kissy noise. I think it's cute. So you just kiss the ceiling. You're going to do that 10 times. 
first you might feel a little silly doing it, but really once you see the results over time, you won't feel so bad about doing it anymore. Actually, the results will be very, very visible in terms of the muscle structure around your neck. Another thing too that you might want to keep in mind is that if you maybe have TMJ or if you have any difficulty with your jaw, that may be an exercise you want to avoid because you are going to be extending your neck and you're going to be pulling these muscles. All right, the next exercise we're going to utilize a chair. What we're going to do is forward leg raises. You're going to stand with your hand holding a chair. You're going to put your leg straight ahead. You're going to take your other leg, extend it in front of you. You're not going to want to raise it to an uncomfortable level, just slightly, and you're going to pulse it up for a count of 10. One, two, three. You want to make sure you really control that movement. Otherwise, again, you're using momentum to raise that leg. If you do it properly, you'll start to feel the pull through the front of your legs. Switch to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This exercise is really great for building your hip flexor muscles as well as your glutes. This next exercise, we're going to actually be working our thighs and also our core. You're going to want a chair, just a basic chair. It's really simple to do. Slide your body towards the edge of the chair so that your bottom is still resting on the seat. You're going to take your hands and grasp each side of the chair. Put your legs straight out in front of you, straight down to the ground so your feet are planted firmly on the floor. Next, you're going to lift each leg and you're going to raise it ten times, straight up, only lifting just slightly. I'll show you what it looks like. One, two, three, four. Make sure that you keep your legs really tight and your muscles really controlled when you're doing this. You're also gonna to wanna to keep your core tight as you do that exercise as well. Next exercise, we still get to keep our chair, which I like exercises where we can keep our chairs. We're gonna turn and we're gonna face the front. Keep your knees slightly shoulder width apart. You're gonna keep your back straight, your chest up, looking straight ahead. Hold your outside of your chairs. You're gonna to wanna to hold the wedge of the chair on both sides. You're going to extend out off of the chair. So actually you're hovering above the chair. You're really going to see how this works your biceps and your triceps. The further that you extend your legs out from your body, you're actually going to increase the difficulty of this exercise. The closer that you pull your legs to you, you're actually going to make it easier for yourself. So I actually keep mine a little bit further out and I make sure i got a good stable grip and I'm going to dip just like this. Really slow and controlled. And you're just going to dip. You're gonna do that 10 times. This is actually gonna be the last of our seated exercises and what we're gonna be doing is a lat raise or a lateral arm raise. We're gonna be focusing on our deltoids, biceps, and triceps. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna want some type of weight. If you're new to this exercise, you may just wanna start with basic arm raises. If not, you might wanna grab something more advanced. I personally don't have anything less than 10 pounds, so I'm just gonna use my cat. And one, two, just kidding. What I am gonna use since I don't have anything less than 10 pounds is I have one pound spaghetti sauces. I know it sounds funny, but use what you have. Nobody's going to judge you in the privacy of your own home. So I've scooted to the edge of my chair, making sure that I'm comfortably seated. I'm going to keep my back straight, shoulders up, chest tight, core tight, looking straight ahead. I'm going to start with my arms in a lower position down to my sides, and I'm going to slowly raise to this level. You do not want to pass this level. If you raise or you start to flap, you'll notice that it's more momentum than anything and you're not doing the exercise properly. If you find yourself pulling up too hard like this, then you're also going to find that your weights are probably too heavy. Just slowly and carefully raise your arms to shoulder level. One, two, three. For calf raises, you're actually going to want to keep your feet planted firmly on the ground. You're going to want to have them just a little slightly less than shoulder width apart. You're actually going to raise up onto the balls of your feet, being very careful not to lock your knees. You don't want to overextend and lock your knees. You're basically going to keep them in line, but you're not going to lock them. You're going to tighten your calves as much as you possibly can while keeping all the weight on the balls of your feet. Keep your back straight, chest up, and look straight ahead. The key is in the pause. You definitely want to pause so you can get a good tightening of those muscles in your calves. And then you're going to drop. You're going to do this 10 times. Pull those calf muscles. Tighten them up and then drop. The next exercise is going to be 10 minutes of any activity, whether it's dancing, dusting, cleaning, you name it, anything goes. exercises that make a big difference. As you can see, exercise does not have to be intimidating. It's not about being perfect, it's about making an effort. Whether you're using spaghetti sauce in the privacy of your own home, or you're just trying to do some little fitness routines into your like work schedule. Maybe you're sitting at your desk and you're just doing your leg raises or whatever. Any little thing that you can do to benefit your health and your wellness in your body is going to be a positive thing. All of these exercises are designed to be built upon. You could add weights to make them more complicated. You could stretch or lower your stance to be able to get more of a pull through your leg lunges. All of these things you can increase with time. Whereas you
you may do 10 sets this time, next time do 20. When 20 gets easy, go to 30. When 30 gets easy, and so on. But the important thing is to try to do the first 10. Do something good for yourself, and it will make a difference. All right, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to check out my video, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!